Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. We have had a busy, busy, busy few days. And so, therefore, there's no makeup going on this face today. And it needs it because I am I have some little spots that need to be covered up. But it's not happening today. So, um, we're going to go pick up a grocery order. I am getting lots of questions about where I got those cute little storage containers with the blue lids. Hang on, let me show you. Okay, it was where I got these stack of containers with this lid. And I think, unless I got one in the refrigerator, I think it's a 14 piece, seven bowls, seven lids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe 16, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14 uh, piece. So seven bowls, seven lids. And the lids are so cute. I've got these at the Bales. I, I want to say Bales Outlet, but it's the Bales Store. So that's where I got these. And um, I love them. And they were $5.99. So if you have a Bales or a Burks, I think it, they're the kind of the same company. But... Um, yeah, they were so cute. I may go back and get some more, but they have fall designs right now. And um, I just thought that one was so cute with the wheelbarrow, the sunflowers, and the pumpkins. thought it was super cute. Okay, let's go get our grocery order. Okay, guys, this is the store where I got the, um, the, the containers that um, with the pretty little lids. Now, I've heard it pronounced bells but i think people this is new here in our town and people are pronouncing it bills trying to figure out my camera so i i don't know which is correct if it's bills but i think it's bells what i've heard over anyway so let me know how y'all pronounce it is it bills or is it bells i say bells but i don't know we'll see okay um we are Headed home. I got my groceries. They're in the back. We're headed home. And um, then we're going to make a delicious pie. And then I'm just going to have fun with you to bug. So I'll show you my groceries and tell you what I'm going to do with it when we get home. Okay, everybody, let's get to this grocery haul real quick because I have some dishes to clean. And then I want us to make this delicious, delicious, delicious pie. I mean, I've never tasted it. But I can only imagine it's going to be absolutely delicious. So, um, <clears throat> let's start over here. I got some uh, American cheese. I know it's probably not the best in the world. But Judah loves ham and cheese sandwiches. Um, I, I want to have some here for him. And then um, Levi does, he likes, Levi likes cheese. But he doesn't like the sandwiches so much yet. But, um, Judah will be getting off the bus and I'll probably be bringing him here. So I thought I could have him a half a ham and cheese sandwich for a little snack or whatever. So, um, I got the cheese and let's just slide over here and I'll go ahead and show you the ham that I got. I, this is a big thing of ham because Bryant likes ham too. <clears throat> so we've got him a big thing of ham. And then of course there's the bread. So, and I think uh, Judah likes it with mayonnaise and mustard. And Bryant is probably, I don't know what Bryant will eat, but sometimes he does all mustard. Sometimes he does mayonnaise and mustard. Sometimes he does all mayonnaise. I never know. So anyway, okay, for today's recipe, we're going to need some lemonade. We're going to need a graham cracker crust. We're going to need some Cool Whip and a sweetened condensed milk. And so that just shows you how easy this recipe is going to be. Okay, now let's go in order from here. I've got several casseroles and meat dishes that I'm wanting to make. So one of them calls for Gouda and uh, Bryant really likes smoked Gouda. So I got smoked Gouda for the casserole. We're going through a lot of heavy cream. So I picked up two heavy creams. Um, 
One of the recipes I have calls for cottage cheese. One calls for sour cream. And we use a lot of sour cream because I make the taco uh, frittata. That's going to be a new staple in our house. It was that good. And then we make taco salads a lot. So um, sour cream is going to be a refrigerator staple. We also go through a lot of cream cheese. And um, so I buy the two packs of Philadelphia and I actually have two laid out over there already to make jalapeno poppers with. So we go through a lot of cream cheese. So that's another refrigerator staple. Okay, this is something I haven't bought in a long time. Um, but I saw a dish for cauliflower. It's like, it would be like cheesy rice, except it's cheesy cauliflower rice. So, um, we're going to try it, but, um, that's what that is. So I, I haven't done this in a long time and I don't know that it'll be a staple, but I did pick up three bags to, um, see about using it. Eggs are definitely a staple, so, and I made those breakfast casseroles the other day, so I'm down to just a few eggs, so uh, I picked up 36 eggs, of course there's our bread, uh, again you can probably guess two little boys that the Doritos are for, if I can keep Bryant out of them that will be great, but they're definitely for two little boys. And here are my favorite, favorite cracklings, somebody asked me if they were hard, and they're harder than a normal pork rind, or the outside is. The inside is like creamy almost. It's it's soft, but then the outside is it's harder than a normal pork rind, but it's not as hard as that crackling bag of um the I think it's a green bag. But um yeah. So they are harder than probably a normal pork rind. But they're so good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and, of course, for the casseroles, some Parmesan, some Cheddar Jack, and some um, Cheddar Cheese. But this is definitely a staple here. Um, and, yes, I could definitely, I know there's the stuff in it, the anti-caking stuff, and that adds carbs. I get that. But a lot of times, I'm, it's a convenience issue with me, and I'm... I'm willing to sacrifice that for the convenience of it. So, anyway, one of the casseroles is going to be a chicken and asparagus. So, I picked up some asparagus. I think, I don't even know why I got these. I think one of the casseroles, these are all new casseroles for me. Um, recipes I've found. So, um, I think one of the casseroles had mushrooms. So, um, I picked those up. Green onions. They're pretty much a staple here, but uh, I think one of the casseroles did call for them. Um, I plan to make meatloaf one day, and I carried my no sugar added ketchup over to Caroline's for Levi's birthday party, and I didn't bring it back, so I just, I'll leave that with her, and I grabbed another one. Uh, I bought a bag of wings here, and these are the, they're, they're frozen, but they're already separated. If you saw my trash can, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they're already separated. And um, I, I just, I, I like them already separated. <gasps> oh, ice glazed. I thought it was glazed. I was like, oh no. Um, but yeah, so I bought those. And um, I picked up, so we can have several flavors, this G. Hughes Thai Chili Wing Sauce. So... Um, I thought we'd give that a try. My buffalo chicken dip is another thing I want to keep around here. It is so good. So good. And it calls for Frank's Red Hot. The sweetened condensed milk for our pie. One of, uh, I'm, there's a meatball or meat patty type in a cream sauce. A tomato cream sauce recipe I'm going to make. And it called for tomato paste. And I picked up two 80-20 hamburgers. Um, again, another staple is bacon, and so I picked up three packs of the thick-cut bacon and chicken breast. So, is that it? Oh, no, it's not it. I didn't mention this. This is for the meat patty or meatball in the tomato cream sauce. Um, picked up one of those. <sighs> they did not have like a online for some reason i think they do have things in the store but then the online says they don't 
but I was going to get just a regular beef broth and I couldn't, they didn't have it on the online thing at my store. So they probably had it on the shelf, but it wasn't an option for me to choose online. So anyway, I just grabbed that and we'll just put that in some hot water and make our own. Okay. So that is our grocery haul. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to clean up my kitchen really fast. And then we're going to make this delicious pie before Judah gets here. Well, everyone, are you ready to make this delicious pie? I am so excited to make it uh, with you guys. I apologize that I have no makeup on today, but let me just explain that just a little bit. I am super tired. We have worked so hard over the weekend and the first of the week. And not to mention that Sunday, I went to bed after our back to school bash. We didn't get home till way after 10 o'clock, around 10 o'clock. I mean, it was probably 10, 15. I didn't get in the bed till after 11. And then at 2.30, I woke up and never went back to sleep. And so I uh, am a little tired and just I'm rubbing my eyes a lot and just did not feel like putting on makeup today. So I apologize. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, I've got to get everything out. Let me tell you a little bit about this recipe. I saw I don't have TikTok, but it was one of those reels, maybe on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere like that. It was a reel and it was four ingredients super fast, super easy. And I thought that's what the guys need here working on the farm. It's so, it sounds so refreshing. I don't know how this, I'm going to taste this one because y'all, I love me a lemon pie. I love, um, Mrs. Edwards, or I think they're now called Edwards. It used to be Mrs. Edwards, but now it's just Edwards lemon pies. I absolutely love them. Um, and so, I, but I don't like the meringue. I scrape the meringue off. And um, so I love a lemon pie. And if I can find an easy one to make, and I have made several on this channel, but this is one I saw on one of those reels. And I thought, I'm going to try that. So we're going to try that. I'm going to turn the air down because I'm burning up. And that's unusual. Y'all need to record that and put that somewhere because that never comes out of my mouth but I am hot. And um, so I'm going to get out my everything I need and then we're going to get started on this lemon pie. So the first thing you need is one of these graham cracker crust. And I didn't get a deep dish one, so I'm hoping I can just kind of pile this one up and I'm going to stick it in the freezer when we're done. But you just peel back the outside edge. I know you know how to use these, but um, I, I did find that not everybody realizes that you can take this out of the center, get that glue off, which is my favorite stuff to play with, by the way. <laughs> get the glue off, and then when you make your pie, you just flip this around and, oh, glue was stuck to my arm. Flip this around and it's the lid. So, Anyway, not I, I didn't realize that uh, some people didn't know that. And yeah, I don't even think Caroline knew that for a while. So anyway, the next thing we're going to need, this, the first thing going into my mixing bowl is Cool Whip. So an eight ounce thing of Cool Whip. And I just remembered I'm going to have to get out a can opener. So I'm putting, let me get y'all turned down so you can see what I'm doing here. I don't want to miss any of this. So I want to be sure and get it all because this is what's going to make it so very good. Y'all, I know poor Bryant is exhausted too. Okay. Let me grab a can opener real quick. Okay. This is not what I needed the can opener for, but uh, you need a frozen lemonade concentrate and kind of 
break it up as you pour it in if you can. I'm leaving it kind of slushy. And then what we're going to add in is a can of sweetened condensed milk. The stuff my husband can eat with a spoon right out of the can. I was talking the other day about how I like to eat icing right out of the can. And somebody says, oh, I can do that with sweetened condensed milk. And I was like, oh, I know, Bryant can too. I don't know that I've ever tasted it right out of the can, but I sure do love it in things. All right. And I'm being sure to get every bit of it. All right. And we're just going to whisk this together real quick. I'm going to turn the camera off while it whisks because it can be loud. But I am going to start it on low. Okay. I feel like mine's a little bit more liquidy than hers. But that's okay. It's going to be delicious. In fact, I've already tasted it. And yes, it is going to be delicious. Let me slide everything out of the way here. We have our graham cracker crust. Now, I know hers filling it may be perfect because her filling actually filled up two small ones along with a big one. So I don't have enough to do. I didn't get small graham cracker crust. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour that into some ramekins. And make that like a little, you know, its own dessert without the graham crackers. And we can actually crumble up some graham crackers on top if we so choose. All right, so this is going to go in the freezer and I'm going to let it freeze for just a little bit once I get the lid on correctly. All right, going in the freezer. Let me taste this for you. It is, I've already licked my finger. <laughs> And I tell you, it's good. Yes, it's good. Now, will it freeze up nicely and cut nicely and all that good stuff? I don't know, but we're going to see. And so I'll bring you back when it's time for the taste test. And I'm going to get started on our supper and for Thursday's video. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back for the taste test. Well, guess what? I have a new taste tester. And what, tell them what your name is. There's Uncle Hoyle. Uncle! Well, everybody, as you just saw, making sure my mic's on, we had a family member stop by. My uncle stopped by, and we had to leave and go help him. You're being silly. So we... I cut him another piece because when we got back, that piece was melted. So he's going to try this piece and I'm going to help him because that still hasn't frozen completely solid. So I'm going to help him a little bit with this taste test. But this is a lemon pie. Make this at home. I'm not lying. Make this at home. <laughs> you want to tell him again? Make this a hole. I'm not lying. Make this at home. <laughs> Make this at home. He's not lying. I think he's watched his papa one too many times. Don't you think? <laughs> Y'all, uh, they're missing what you're doing. Are you eating more? Yeah. I Is like it good? It. Yeah, I like it. You like it? <laughs> Here, we'll get you another good bite. You want the crust or just the stuff? Just the stuff. So he says, make this at home. So is it a one thumbs up or a two thumbs up? I 
<gasps> Thumbs down. That, well, that don't count. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. He's being silly, as you can see. So, all right. Well, there you have it. It's Judah approved, and he says you've got to make this at home. Now, why are you being silly? I like being silly. I like being silly. He starts kindergarten Monday. You won't see him as much because he won't be staying with Bubbles as much. So, he's got iron jammies on the bottoms. Okay, guys, we will see you guys back next time. Listen, you don't want to miss Thursday's video. It is going to be delicious. So um, it's going to be a chicken casserole, a new one I found, and we're going to give it a try. So all right, I need you to stop being silly. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. anything. <laughs> Bye y'all. It's not cutting off. <laughs> Tell them bye.